What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team Video. And guys, today we do have some new packs. Um, we have the rewind packs, and yes, these are pretty much super packs. I don't know why they call them rewind packs, but yo, I will take it. As you guys can see, I do have 200,000 VC. Um, so I'm honestly saving that probably for a Friday. I wouldn't really waste the VC on these packs, but uh, if you guys are new to the channel, sub it up. If we have 50 likes on this video, we will do empty giveaways. If we have 50 likes on every video from today to thursday's video all right so four days in a row with 50 likes or more we will give away one mil mc on friday so like it up sub it up if you appreciate it man we'll do a huge giveaway on twitter and or instagram we got a new eddie jones in which i do kind of like i we also have a dekemi matumbo no one really cares about him he's he just can't shoot threes he's just not a threat in my team um pretty much in this game if your center cannot shoot threes it's just not gonna be good so uh, i know what tumbo's sick and all but he just he just can't play he just can't shoot um uh, and then the pink diamond also is serge ibaka so decent content nothing insane um honestly nothing really crazy that's a cool that's a cool one um throwback john wall we also got a date uh is that ad or am i bugging drew holiday that looks new as well so we did get a couple new players nothing crazy Honestly, really nothing good at all. Um, so we're still going to go into Snipe Fielders, how to make some MT right now. Look at these little snipes I got right here, making some quick MT. Uh, but anyways, let's get into some Snipe Fielders. Let's see what's going on with the Dark Matter Filter. Um, Playoff P is another card that I believe that will just probably consistently drop because if he continuously does bad in the playoffs, nobody is going to want him in this game. And that's literally going to affect his price to the max. So um, yesterday, the Knicks did lose. That was the biggest, toughest L I've ever seen in my life um it just sucks i hate watching the knicks lose if you guys are knicks fans it was a tough loss i watched the whole game trey young man he's so good i mean freaking alec burks balled out we just couldn't hold it down julius randall played eh he just didn't play well he shot very 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 bad from the field very bad but it's okay it's one game i'm not mad i know nah, i'm mad we should have won but you know what am i gonna do that's the knicks they win they lose that's basketball um anyways let's keep going over it um, so pretty much dark matter filter is just like beyond dry like i'm just not with this filter in my opinion i don't know i think it's a little too much so like i said i've been rocking with the pink diamond shibis filter to make my life a lot more or less stressful and boom right there we get a little quick snipe and we get hakeem olajuwon for 4k and that's a nice little snipe right there i could probably oh oh wait that's also a snipe so the snipes are gonna pop up a lot this Akeem's about to sell. He's going to go up to over five. That's cool. So we just got this MJ for 45. When super packs come out, this filter goes absolutely insane. All right. So we just got that MJ for 45. He goes all the way up to over 6,100. So pretty much this is exactly what I've been doing. All right. So we got him for 45. We're going to sell him for around 58. Nice. Pretty much almost a thousand profit. Nah, maybe less because he's actually at 54. So if we sell him for like 53... It's decent profit nothing insane but it adds up um you're gonna make 800 mt per like 30 seconds that adds up to 1600 mt which adds up to over i don't know 70k over every hour which is actually very good so there we go mj for around i don't know 52 make some profit quick we got this akeem for 47 um so pretty cool stuff man honestly another one how to make MT right now. We also got a bit snipe. Bit sniping is cool. You just got to know pricing. Me personally, I do like the bit snipes, but sometimes people are really sweaty on the bit snipes. So as you guys can see, that Hakeem did end up selling at 4,700. So our Hakeem now is going to be around, I don't know, probably 5,500 like the MJ. So this is honestly how I've been sniping. I've also been opening up a ton of packs with MT, but uh, yeah, this is probably my best way of sniping. Hakeem the Dream Wow, that other Akeem up there for 4,700 was also a snipe. This card is at around 66. We got him for 45. So another W in the chat. No, we got him for four. So pretty cool stuff right there. We're going to make over 2K. We're up 3,000 MT in around two minutes, which is pretty fire. Um, this is pretty much all I've been doing for the last couple days. Just making MC, just relaxing here. We also got the Galaxy Opal Minimum. I mean, um, what's it called? Galaxy Opal 
bid race, I guess you could say. Just got to know pricing. It's just the problem is with Galaxy Opals, it's very hard to understand pricing because like, they're just hard. For me, pick diamonds are easy because you just have to really stay away from Jokic. Anything that, else, anything that pops up and Eaton. Anything else that does pop up makes sense. Um, Alonzo Morning is definitely one that you wouldn't want to buy. Um, Sam Mark Eaton, you just have to pretty much think about the players that you don't want. Obviously, NBA 21 collection is something you want to avoid, so definitely stay away from that. But honestly, since Super Packs are live, these cards might crash. They're going to be a lot more snipes overall in these filters so interesting stuff honestly very interesting stuff i think these cards will definitely drop it just all depends like when exactly how long it's gonna take right now the market will just consistently go down and honestly since they did drop flash last week flash is not a hype promo we should see if Fla all right so when flash drops friday they usually release something insane the next week hopefully it's not idols i don't want idols um but yeah, that's pretty much what happens. When they release decent content that's not insane, it's just okay. It pretty much just creates something interesting for the next Friday. And I believe that there will be insane content this Friday, creating a huge crash. And they keep releasing these rewind packs. To be honest, though, these rewind packs are like, eh, they're nothing insane. They're just, eh. So they can keep releasing the rewind packs. It doesn't really, it, it definitely affects the market a little bit, but not to the maximum amount. Because the OG super packs were definitely a lot better than these rewind packs, not gonna lie. Uh, but like I'm saying, stay stay away from, honestly, stay away from Dark Matter sniping, guys. It's just like a big waste of time. It takes too long. It's too much pressure. And if you miss the snipe that pops up, it's the biggest sell ever. I just don't want to snipe there all day to actually miss out on a chance of getting a Dark Matter, which sucks. But uh, yeah, it's too competitive. Stay around on the Pink Diamond filter, the Bit Sniping filter. That's pretty much how you're going to make the most MC in light. Not only that, these packs are kind of crazy because KG, Bosch, and Matumbo, they're going to be buyouts. I mean, Bosch is a buyout, Garnett's getting close. Oh, maybe not so much an invincible KG. Um, but Bosch, Will Chamberlain, probably going to be a buyout. He's on TTO, Dikemi Matumbo. You know what I'm saying? They're, these are cards like just to ruin the market, which is I'm not a fan of. But uh, anyways, that's all we got for the vid, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. Let's see if this sold and it's laggy so hope you guys did enjoy did sell have a good one peace